All right, Laker fans, let's get straight into this. The last two Laker games have been losses. That's four consecutive losses for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, they lost to the Miami Heat 110 to 96. They were down at halftime 45 to 53 in that game. No Rui Hachimura, no D'Angelo Russell. The Heat had eight players in double digits point wise. Tyler Hero, six rebounds, four assists, 21 points. He was four out of eight from downtown. Bam Adebayo, seven rebounds, five assists, 15 points. And Jamie Jacquez Jr., eight assists, 16 points. He had some great moments. Kevin Love, 14 rebounds, three assists, 10 points. A couple big threes by Duncan Robinson in the fourth quarter, and the Heat ran away with his game. The first half, the Lakers' defense was a bit too open. There were a few costly turnovers. In that third quarter, uh, Max Christie, uh, you know, with a, a great dunk, a great play, he energized his team. The Lakers kept cutting down the Miami Heat lead, but they couldn't get over that speed bump. And um, to be honest, it was just too, too tough to cut down fully and get back into the game. The three-point shooting was shocking from the Lakers. Four out of 30 from downtown, 13%, not good enough. 16 out of 42 for the Heat, 38% from them from downtown. 22 turnovers for Los Angeles. Sloppy, clumsy, gifting the opposition opportunities in transition. For the player stats for the Lakers, Anthony Davis, 17 rebounds, 6 assists, 29 points. He also had 5 blocks and 3 steals. Austin Reeves, 5 rebounds, 8 assists, 24 points. Christian Wood, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 13 points. Max Christie, 5 rebounds, 14 points. And LeBron James a bit quiet points-wise with 12. And he also had 6 rebounds and 9 assists. So, a poor result. That was 3 consecutive losses after that game. And then to hear the report of via Shans Sharaniah on Twitter and on social media platforms. Growing disconnect between Darvin Ham, the coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, and the Lakers locker room stemming from disjointedness rotations and adjustments to starting fives. Are you kidding me, Los Angeles? This disconnect, and we're wondering why is this team struggling? And we look back on when we did have a good starting five. When players like Cam Reddish got the start a few games ago, where D'Lo and Austin Reeves came off the bench and each had 16 points a few games back, and they got the job done, the Lakers. But then we're seeing changes to the starting five on a consistent basis nearly every game. It's not a game. It's not just for fun, Darvin Ham. This is a season. This is a season that we're butchering at the moment. Because we won the in-season tournament. We had our celebrations for winning that championship. For ticking that off our list. And making history. But then after that, it's been inconsistent. It's been poor. And we have fallen into a dark hole that it seems we can't escape. And it leads me to my next game. Losing to the Memphis Grizzlies today, 113 to 127. The Lakers led 59 to 58 at the half. The Lakers got out muscled in the fourth quarter, being outscored 33 to 19. Coach Taylor Jenkins from the Grizzlies in the third quarter, he jumped on the court, disrupting uh, a run by Torian Prince. Uh, he was frustrated and fully blew up against the refs, and uh, he got a technical foul. To be honest, how he blew up, how he was talking, and how he overreacted and argued, he should have been ejected from the game. Because we have seen a lot less, uh, you know, from players and from uh, other, uh, and from staff members as well, and they've been ejected throughout the season or in the past. We have seen a, a lot less, and this was a lot more. You jump onto the court, and you throw a tantrum like that, get a grip and stay professional. I understand you were frustrated with the call. That play was allowed to go on after Jaron Jackson Jr. and LeBron had a tussle on the floor. But there is no need to act like that in a game of basketball. 
the player stats, Jaron Jackson Jr., speaking of him, he had a great game. Nine rebounds, one assist, 31 points, 13 in the first half. Marcus Smart, two rebounds, five assists, 29 points. He was eight out of 14 from downtown. Ja Morant, seven rebounds, seven assists, 21 points. And Desmond Bain, five out of eight from downtown, finishing with five rebounds, 13 assists, and 24 points. For the Lakers, AD had six rebounds, four assists, 31 points, 16 in the first half. LeBron with five rebounds, seven assists, 32 points. 18 in the first half. He also had five steals. LeBron had 14 in the first quarter, so a great start from him and a great game overall. Austin Reeves, 7 rebounds, 12 assists, 19 points. Great game by AR15. And Christian Wood chipped in nicely with 5 rebounds and 11 points. To here, um, just quickly, the three-point shooting, 10 out of 28 for the Lakers. They started off well, but then started to get a, a bit off in that second half. But the Grizzlies, on the other hand, 23 out of 45 from downtown, 51.1% from the three-point arc. At times, they couldn't miss. They shot the lights out. And, um, you know, in that fourth quarter, they were the better side and wrapped things up. To hear these words out of LeBron James's mouth after um, the Grizzlies game, we just suck right now. That was the five words he summed up the Lakers in. We just suck right now. Uh... LeBron James, that is clear as daylight to, to not only me, to everyone, to the NBA, to the Laker faithful, to everyone that is watching this team. We suck right now. I don't want to hear that. What I want to hear is how are we going to improve? What are the areas that need adjusting? And to hear that there's been problems off the court, a growing disconnect between coach and players, it's simply not good enough. It is not the Los Angeles I want to see on a regular basis. We have to turn things around because after the in-season tournament championship win, when we wrote our bit of history, I haven't seen the Lakers that I want to see on a consistent basis. It's been poor, it's been sluggish, and we're slowly falling down that ladder into a deep, deep dark hole. Get out of it, Los Angeles. Next game against the Clippers, our cross-down rivalries, they're going really well at the moment, and we're going to need to pull off a miracle against them. Go Lakers! Did you like that recap? Well, if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment on this post, and share it out to your friends and family. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Want to see more content? Well, you can. Make sure to head to my Facebook page and also my Instagram page. Got more content on there and plenty more sports updates.